This is day one of our new vlog. <laughs> yeah. I thought they'd be. Hello people, it is year two, day eight. I'm waiting for my ride to work and just chilling. My dad's over here watching some, uh, what is this you're watching? Flab rats. I don't know if I've ever, I think I've seen this show before. Are we good in a minute? Yeah, we're good. We'll put it up in there and I'll go make it. Please. Go, please. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yep, yeah, so I'm just pretty much waiting for my messing around with cell phone oh, game. Come on, Gabe, come on. Uh, and Gabe's being mean to me for no reason. Hurt my feelings, gonna right. make me cry. Uh, hopefully, I won't be late to work. <laughs> it's 53 after, and my ride should have been here already. So, yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Supposedly, it's going to be really stormy t this evening, but it was supposed to be stormy by about 3 o'clock, and it's, it seems pretty clear, so I, uh, I'm not crossing my fingers on it. Uh, what I am crossing my finger on is hoping that I do not have to work at the drive through window tonight, because my other boss is working tonight, and he put me on drive through once, and I hate it. I mean, it's not any harder than the front. Except for two aspects of it. One, the people that don't want to work when it comes time to close are always right back there, it seems like. It's the girls. They, they, they mess around a lot. Uh, and it's a lot of standing in the same spot. So when you have foot pain, standing in the same spot is uh, like the worst thing that, could <coughs> that you could deal with. Also, I forgot to take some of the antibiotics last week, and I think the strep throat is coming back. But I can't afford to take off work again, because they would get mad at me. And so on and so forth. But it maybe not. I mean, I'm feeling a lot of the pain underneath the uh, tongue. And, I don't know. But hopefully I get better. Hello, friends, family, and acquaintances. I am just getting home from work. It is 12.07. That was a busy night. Yes, it I was. was. You haven't seen me all day. And I, I, want, I wanted to, to take the attention from Josh. Man, I can look in Josh's eyes. He's mad at me. Anyways, uh, it was a busy night. Had lots of customers, lots of uh, work to be done. I really wish I had this kind of work when I owned my business. Wouldn't that be cool if I had uh, so much work in the day that I was worn out by the end of the day? That would be, that would have been pretty awesome. But alas, that is not how it was. Um, I really wish I had more things to talk about on these vlogs, but I really don't. They're just... That's why I try and ask Ryan to do vlogging, because he is, he has, he's doing different things than I'm doing that he could throw into Here's him, thing, but though. he doesn't, he doesn't really want to vlog. Here's the thing, though. What? I've noticed that people enjoy when you vlog more. What? Well, they enjoy it, and trust me, they enjoy this it. This is just Ryan's way of no, saying it. No, it's not being a negative. Uh, but anyways, here, Ryan, you take it over. No, no, no. Yep. What's up, guys? I just wanted to say, like, I just wanted to talk to you a few minutes about um, something earlier that's happened in my life. Wait, do not, please do not skip over this yet. It's only going to take like a minute or two, okay? Just relax and listen. All right, you might learn something. But growing up, I always used to think that, uh, because I lived in foster care that and I and I really I really, really wasn't close to um like a family and growing up I used to think that that uh I was fine being by myself that I didn't really need anybody else and I used to always have my friends well 
my acquaintances, my acquaintances tell me things like, "Man, I feel really bad for you. Don't are it's gonna suck not having your parents around and stuff like that, and not having that support structure." And I used to be like, "Dude, don't be gay. That's that's old Ryan. That's not me, Ryan. That's old Ryan." But when I started go growing older, I started to realize that that the more I pushed people away, the more depressed I would get because I'd realize that, <laughs> Blizzard, come on, that I, I really didn't have anyone else to talk to and it and, and made me really sad for a long time. For like, I was in a really dark place for a long time. And I just wanted to say how really important it is that you just have one person in your life that you can talk to and share your feelings to and just have have a friend or a family member you know what i mean it's it's more important than you think and growing up i see that now and it's me like all my life i've always been, my philosophy has always been like get away from me i don't want to talk to you i want to go live in a mountain somewhere leave me alone but past few years I'm starting to understand that humans are social creatures and they need other they need other people to interact with them and I know this is getting kind of sappy but just hear me out and I'm just saying what I'm saying is it's it's really important that uh that you don't that you don't push people away that you don't close yourself self off because trust me I made that mistake before and it it ended really badly for me. And, um, it's a harsh and cruel world out there, and you always need somebody to have your back. What the hell are you vlogging about? I was vlogging about, you'll, you'll watch it later, I guess. Okay, well, I need you out here for a minute. Hi, guys. Okay. Josh needs me out there for a minute.